Hello, warlocks of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the 22nd episode of our Eldritch Invocations series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Grasp of Hadar, or Hader, depending on how you want to pronounce it. This one is probably most beneficial with the Pact to the Blade Warlock. Um, that being said, I could see a couple other ones really benefiting from this depending on your playstyle and what you're hoping to accomplish. In any case, with that intro out of the way, let's take a look at the description here. So first and foremost, there is a prerequisite, and that is that you have to have the Eldritch Blast Cantrip. Uh, we've done a video on it prior, so I'll put that in the description, so if you want to tune in, you can if you haven't already. Uh, it's a really great cantrip, and it's kind of the staple of the Warlock class. The description reads as followed. Once on each of your turns when you hit a creature with your Eldritch Blast, you can move that creature in a straight line 10 feet closer to you. So pretty cool. Um, something I would like to point out though is you can only do it once on your turn. So even though Eldritch Blast has several different beams, uh, only one of those beams can have the Grasp of Hadar property with them. So just worth noting there. Uh, and it has to be in a straight line closer to you. So if there's like a wall or something, odds are they'll just move up to that. Um, or it'll or it just won't work at all. So that, that that's more of a DM call. I'd have them move as, cl as close to that 10 feet as they can to you. Uh, in any case, uh, super cool stuff there. Might be worth noting that this would not uh, have an attack of opportunity, or this would not uh, activate an attack of opportunity, because it's considered to be forced movement, so just bear that in mind. Uh, with that all be being said, let's take a look at the overview and just simplify it a little bit more. Uh, once per turn, you can pull a creature 10 feet towards you after you hit them with an Eldritch Blast. So pretty pretty simple, right? Uh, really good for stopping people from getting away, uh, really good for kind of making sure you can always outrun them, right? Uh, in any case, guys, if uh, you have any alternative uses, any cool ideas or great combinations, uh, please let me know down beneath. I really love hearing from you. Um, that being said, I hope you all have a great day, and as always, happy casting.